I know, I know it's like a cliche that it, it can't happen to me. It's not going to happen to me, but it, it can. Before you know it, I mean, one day your kid's perfectly fine, happy as can be. The next minute, you don't know what's going on. He had made a plan. We don't keep alcohol in the house, but he said he had access to alcohol and pills and alcohol. He figured it'd just be an easy sleep. He finally came to us and said, okay, I think I'm ready to talk to someone. And then we found Atria and he just clicked with her right away. And they started talking. It took him a little bit to open up to her, but about two months in, she called me out of the blue and she said, I don't feel comfortable sending him home. He needs, he needs some help. And gosh, I, like at that point, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. What do I do? Like, so she called up to show Dare and he kind of didn't take the first time serious. He took it as, He's gonna say all the right things to just go home. I'm fine. And the next couple of weeks, he just went downhill so fast that Adria called him, called us from one of the counseling appointments and said, um, I'm taking him over to the hospital. You need to meet me there. So when I first met Dakota, um, it was a pretty dark time and he was struggling with severe depression and severe anxiety symptoms. Um, also a lot of shame and seeking help, um, finally being willing to seek help for his mental health. Imagine if you had diabetes and one of the core features of diabetes was that it made you afraid of needles. Can you imagine how hard it would be to get effective treatment? So depression is like that in that it brings hopelessness, low energy, lack of motivation, difficulties with sleep. So the very things that you need to do to feel better, like get a good night's rest, exercise every day, take care of yourself, connect with other people, are made that much harder by the disease itself. It was sort of like a flipped switch for me. Like one day I was fine and I was happy and the next day I just couldn't figure out what was going wrong. By the end of sophomore year, it was getting really bad. I was self-harming and uh, I started seeing Adria probably a little less than a month after my parents found out about everything. I didn't, I didn't know how to handle it. I just knew that he was extremely sad and it was, it was hurting him and it was hurting me and it was causing, you know, mom some stress and some, it needed to be dealt with. I honestly didn't really know how to handle it at first. Dealing with his sense of hopelessness was really hard. It was almost like it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like just one day he was a different kid. And uh, mental health is one of those things that it'll always have some sort of stigma. And so people have a really hard time talking about it. I thought I had a good handle on it until it happened to our family. And then I had no idea how to handle it. I never really felt like I needed to talk to someone even through, like I've been in therapy for over a year and I, I just felt like probably a few months ago that I started to see change. Just the way Shodare operates in the day to day makes you it gives you a routine, it gives you a schedule, and that made me feel normal, which is what I felt like I was missing. I didn't feel normal, I didn't feel like I'd fit in, but like coming to show there, it gave me an environment where I was like, these people share what I've been through. Like it's not all the same, but they, they all can relate. Cause like for me, therapy was always like, for the longest time it was like, just say what you need to say. It's always gotta be about all the depressing stuff in your life. And then one day she was like, you know what? we're gonna do something different. So we do this thing called pore painting. And uh, basically the first time she just picked random colors and we just, you just pour the paint onto the surface, like onto the canvas and you like spread it around. The first time it was kind of weird and then we did it again and I got to pick the colors and I just sort of, uh, I picked colors that meant something to me. Uh, it definitely calms me down, uh, I feel like. Like if I'm anxious, I'll do a lot of, like I feel a lot of red and black. The art expression is an incredible medium to really help him put the feelings in an abstract way on the canvas. I, I'm just very much able to associate color with emotions. So, and it feels like I'm just throwing emotions at a canvas and it turns into something that I can look back on and be like, oh yeah, that's why I was feeling this, this, and this. 
when I first met Dakota, his big thing was, I'm gonna be a marine biologist. And I was like, well, you realize you're gonna have to live by an ocean to be a marine biologist. <laughs> but one thing that has changed since he's gone through his journey was that he now wants to do psychology, which I think is really admirable because it's a hard field. He wants to do, um, he wants to be like the people that helped him. I think he's always shown those really great characteristics that you would want in somebody such as a therapist or anybody working in a psychology field that's dealing with people. Just how much he cares about others. He got the help he needed from Shodare and he realized that he can help other children as well through the same processes. And also by saying, hey, I've been there, I can relate. Like, I mean, that works really well for a lot of kids is you don't understand what I'm going through. Actually, I do. I've been there. Let me tell you my story, you know? And that's what he wants to do. He wants to take his story and use it as a positive. This whole process, it's made him change what he wants to do for the rest of his life. Changing him since he went through this process and went through Jodare and him deciding that now he wants to focus on that and on helping other adolescents to me is just mind blowing. And I couldn't be happier, couldn't be happier because he's, he's found something that he's passionate about that came from all of this that hopefully will take him just to the top of the world. Wherever he wants to go. I think having those experiences really changes your perspective on how people are in moments of crisis or moments of um, feeling down. And I think that Dakota being able to share his journey and then potentially use that in his future work is incredibly important. Shodare is a mission that provides a great service to youth in need. And so the work here is um, very powerful and sometimes it's not even known to many, but it's known to me and it's known to my heart. I've learned how to be a better person, how to be a better dad, um, how to be more patient and understanding. I've learned that I can't always just listen to him. I have to watch him. As a lot of people are when it comes to mental health is putting on a show. Um, I've learned that I have to watch him, you know, go back in his room when he's been back there too long. Is he sitting in the dark? Is he actually up and playing on his video games? Or is he just not involved? Because um, he'll, he'll give me every excuse in the book. We love to hike and he loves to go on hikes. But when he stops wanting to go on hikes or be outside, I know that there's something wrong even though he's not telling me. I think the most exciting thing for me is showing how life can continue even with mental illness. Like for the longest time, mental illness controlled my life. And now I'm like, it's just a part of it. It's not the entire thing. If I were to write a letter to my future self, it would say, dear me, you're still struggling, but you're finding a way to make it work. You will meet so many people that will help you. You're finding a way to express yourself. You're finding ways to see how you can help others while still struggling yourself. And I'm proud of you for being able to do that. The mission of Shodare is to heal, help, and inspire hope. Shodare does this by really lifting up the kids that come here for our services and, and giving them the tools they need to be successful in this world. For more information, please visit our website at showdare.org.